Welcome back to the Don and Gino Real Estate and Finance Show right here in your hometown station, AM 1220, KHDS. And remember, our goal is always to guide you to personal and financial wealth. You're back with the Don and Gino Real Estate and Finance Show every Saturday, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. right here in your hometown station, AM 1220 KHDS. For six and a half years, we've had the pleasure of guiding you to personal financial wellness, and we do this with our strong background of 50 plus years experience in the mortgage and real estate industry, but we also bring a ton of other experience and great professionals as we have today, Gino. We do, Don, and uh, today we have one of our partners, uh, Mike Razak from our Sherman Oaks office, who I've, I've had the pleasure of knowing Mike probably now for about 13, 14 yeah, years. It's a long time. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I said it was the pleasure, it doesn't, Don. It is. It doesn't yeah. hurt anymore, guys. <laughs> no, uh, I mean, and a I true actually, professional. And it's kind of nice because I could actually thank Mike for bringing me to Skyline and help, yeah. helping uh, to build what we have today. Uh, I was working at another company, and Mike says, hey, Skyline's a bl- great place to be. Come check it out. And that's kind of how we got here. That's right. Yeah, and, and we love having Mike on the show because uh, Mike's also become a strong part of our Valencia team here. He runs our Sherman Oaks. Up, but um, for those of you who didn't realize, you know, Mike's part of our Platinum Producer Club, one of the yeah, top – Mortgage loan office in all of Skyline. We're talking nationwide. You're killing it out there, and you're Thank doing you a guys. great job yep. for us. And, and yep. your clients and your surveys. How about your surveys, man? Five you guys, out of five every time. Every time. That's we right. love that. That's and right. nice comments. Yep. And, and I'm just giving you kudos because that's Thank a lot you. of work. Yeah. It doesn't happen by accident. And the surveys, everybody knows reviews are everything. And your reviews are always off the charts, and it makes Gene and I very proud. <laughs> yeah, in fact, actually, I'm going to go ahead and segue on that, because we talked a little bit about, um, before we started, about your electronic presence, Kristen, and that's something that you're very strong with, so that you can, do you do that? Because we, we briefly talked about millennials being a different type of buyer, mm-hmm. and so do you think that, you know, the electronic presence is critical for that? I do. Again, as we were discussing earlier, people don't have time or want to be running around from open house to open house or going to one showing to another. So people go online, they do their research. Even if they have time, they want to see what they're going to see before they actually see it. And it's all done online. There's so many different websites that people can go to to get different opinions and different angles of a house or different information on a property that I think that's how millennials are doing their research nowadays. Mm -hmm. And you'll notice that because open houses are not as busy as they used to be years ago. So what are some of your favorites? I know people tend to shop on Zillow and Redfin and things of that nature. Is there better sites? Is there better places for them to look or is that okay for them to get their feet wet there? I think they can get their feet wet there and then they need to have a more detailed search such as like a Rail Scout, which is a program that we use with the MLS simply because that's going to show what's actually active. The worst is when somebody finds a house that they love on on a Zillow or a Redfin and it's actually already in escrow, or it's a foreclosure and they don't have all cash. It, you know, there's other programs out there that really specialize on what's actually active uh, real time. And I think that those uh, Zillows and Redfins, et cetera, Trulia, are great starting points. But once they kind of narrow down to what they're looking for, they need to have a more focused. This is when they need you. (laughs) Because <laughs> those sites only have usually 60, at most 80% of the properties, but you don't get those updated except every two days. Correct. Um, it's not tied directly to the MLS. So you're actually missing a lot of the properties, whereas you, what I love, Kristen, is you ask the client specific details, as Mike does when he's doing their loan. That's the difference of a real professional versus someone who's just trying to basically get them into a home. You ask the right questions and the detailed questions, the guide in the right path to the correct home and not waste their time. And then you work with Mike, who understands the basically the uh, entertainment industry, front or back, because it's a unique industry regarding income and assets and when they're on or in between projects and hiatus hiatus and all those things mike you understand that stuff absolutely and not to mention you know taking title how do you want to take title you know that's become such a big part of the process Um, or getting paid like you were saying they get now they get paid to their business that's right so how's that handled well there's a big push from the studios to have all the uh uh, support members, whether it be writers or whatnot, you know, just to pay businesses. They don't want to pay individuals anymore. So that, that's something that's starting to change. Yeah, well, and, and that's the worst time is when it changes. That's right. Right. If you have stability, that's one of the things a lender looks for. But when you have change, that's when it makes things difficult. Now, that's right. uh, what's frustrating for a consumer is they say, but I made more this year. 
Yeah. Right? Yeah. And it's like, yeah, but you told the IRS you're poor. That's right. <laughs> right. So you could get food stamps with this tax return. Right. Yeah. yeah. And being able to extract the right amount of income or knowing that income, or even worse, you, we've all seen that. I'm sure you've seen it where they're like, oh, I was told I qualify for this because I told my mate a half million dollars a year. I'm like, yeah, but your tax return doesn't show that. So right. you need to work with a real professional that can extract out exactly what can be used. And know what those options are. Mike, you have, you're working with 300, I know, products. Oh, absolutely. To, yeah. to help. Yeah. You know, yeah. where maybe a credit union, an online lender, they have very limited resources. If you fit in the box, it's great. But that box is very small and doesn't usually fit the movie industry. And not only resources, but your underwriters won't understand it either. So you might have the program, but you may have an underwriter who is working out of North Carolina who just doesn't get it, doesn't well, understand. And that's a big deal, right? Because right. We've worked, I've worked for a company that was out of Colorado and they had silly rules like you had to be on a job right. the day that you were going to fund your loan and we don't have those problems right, right? we just we have ways around that now. That's right uh, but there's all kinds of uh, urban legends floating around in the loan industry of how to how to underwrite these borrowers right well let's also talk about how you guys team up to help get your offer accepted we were talking on the break about Okay, so you have somebody in Hollywood, whether it's front of the camera, behind the camera, very limited time. They will need to find a specific home. And when that home becomes available, which is say, whether it's Universal City or the West Side or wherever it is, typically a lot of other industry people are also looking at that same home. So what do you guys do to help get your offer accepted over others? Because it's competitive out there. So you need to get your offer accepted. What do you guys do together? I'll, I'll let you start, Kristen. Well, I always ask my clients to get pre-qualified by Michael, and he basically will give me the breakdown of exactly what these people can afford, cannot afford, what type of offer we can present. And the stronger the offer is, uh, obviously the better choice, a mm -hmm. chance. And sometimes it doesn't come down to money. Sometimes people want a guaranteed close over a higher mm -hmm. you know, purchase amount, which is sometimes frustrating because the buyer doesn't necessarily understand that. But Michael comes in and he can offer 21 day closes, you know, removing your loan or appraisal contingency. There's different things that he right. can offer that just makes my client stand out a little bit more than the next. I love that how you guys work together to say, again, we said that in the first thing, but I'm going to reiterate because it's imperative, especially with anybody in the entertainment industry, is how you guys work on uh, privacy, trust. Uh, time, trying to save them their time by asking the right questions, doing a little bit more legwork than most will do. That's right. Guarantee, because mm -hmm. it's easy to stay online and look at homes, but if you're going to preview the homes for them and find out if it's really what they're looking for, and then find out the particular financing that's best for their particular that's scenario, right. not just here's a rate, True. there's multiple ways to skin that cat, and then combining all that to make sure that their offer is accepted, because all this is for naught unless you get your offer accepted on the home that they fall in love with. Am I right? right? Yep. Yep. Yeah, you can my have dad was in the in the industry very, very briefly, and he says, and it was very, it was probably the 2011. It was very competitive at the same time, and it was very, very difficult because you sometimes find yourself in the opportunity where you have to sell four or five different houses to a consumer because they miss out on a few. So it's imperative that they're able to try to get minimize that, and try to get their really do their dream home offer accepted. Mm -hmm. All right, before we go, because you guys are the dynamic duo, especially uh, we call you our Hollywood rock stars, I'd love for all our listeners to have your contact information to get all of own name, company, and best way to contact you. Sure. My name is Kristen Nethercutt. I work with the John Arrow Group based out of Studio City, but obviously I branch out. Yeah, you do. Not <laughs> only just in Hollywood, but I also specialize in Encino. So I Excellent. kind of... I'm all over the place. Uh, contact number would be 323-397-0800. And what about a website or? KristenNethercut.com. There you go. Nice. And Mikey, go ahead and throw yours out there. Sure. Michael Razak with Skyline Home Loans. My phone number is 818-288-6851. I've had that phone number for 25 years. So uh, if you knew me in any other life, uh, you would have <laughs> the phone, same phone number. Uh, email address is... Uh, Michael.Razak at SkyandHomeLoans.com, and uh, you can find me at Michael Razak, Sky and Home Loans. Just Google me. You know, I use the same thing that, that I've had my phone number since yeah. I think high school. Sure. And that just tells you that we haven't done anything so bad that we've had to run away from our <laughs> numbers. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Well, we stoked you guys came aboard because we love having true professionals that love what they do. They're great at what they do. And I love that you guys both, we know you, Mike, you yeah. always, you're a workaholic, right. just like us. We're yep. calling each other at right. five in the morning or nine o'clock at night. That's right. And you put the extra effort too for your clients. And, and kudos to you because a lot of people are just trying to get the all money dollar, but you really uh, work hard for your clients, especially the unique clients that you assist. So if you're looking for a dynamic duo to help you, especially if you're in the entertainment industry, because you have to find someone that understands the entertainment industry or your success uh, potential is limited to, at best plus frustrating ahead of time. So reach out to Kristen, you reach out to Mike. Again, give us your uh, contact info. I want to make sure they get it. Sure. It's 323-397-0800 or kristenothercut.com. All right, Mike, one more All time. All right, it's 818-288-6851 and Mike Razak at Skyline Home Loans. All right, the dynamic duo. Thank you guys for being right. on the show Thank and Thank doing you. such a great job for your clients. All right. So, such a pr pleasure, Mike. You do a great job for us at Skyline. Happy to be back. Kristen, very nice to meet you. you too. We're going to have you back oh, on. Perfect. You're just perfect. nice Thank and you. easy yeah. and know your stuff. That's that's easy for us. All right, stay tuned. We have the second half of the show and we have back by popular demand, Miss Lisa Odom, who's our trust attorney extraordinaire and one of the most important things that you need to understand in your life. Trust me, if you want to protect your family, you're going to stay tuned for the second half of the show. We'll be right back.